Well, this is day two on the Fowler. This is Dave winding out the valve rod so that we can take the valve out of the left-hand cylinder. Um, this is lifting the ash pan out. The ash pan is, is absolutely rusted through and beyond any sensible repair. So we'll be using it as a pattern, but we have also got the works drawings from Reading University, which is absolutely brilliant for the project. It means we can really know exactly what we're trying to make and make it accurately. The running boards and the other plate work are in much the same condition as the ash pan. They'll be being replaced from the drawings, but the, the frames and the stretchers are in really good condition, so happily they, they should clean up really nicely. Um, this is Dave again. We're removing the rear cylinder cover, the crosshead and the piston from the left-hand side. Um, the piston rod um, will probably be renewed, but the rest of it will just clean up nicely and, and go back on. Continuing to remove the bolts from the rest of the engine. This is the right-hand motion bracket. Um, the left-hand cylinder here coming off. They're all engineered machine bolts, so it's really tight to, to split, but we, we managed to get there with the splitters. Um, this is the original cylinder from the engine, the um, obviously made by Fowler. The right-hand that cylinder that you'll see in a moment was actually a Bundaberg copy. Um, in the early days of preservation, um, a Bundaberg locomotive had an incident that damaged the right-hand cylinder and valve gear, so they swapped out some of our valve gear and our cylinder onto the Bundaberg loco to keep it running, um, thus leaving us with the Bundaberg copy and the damaged cylinder. Um, we've got some decisions to make. Um, here it is. Um, you can see there's a crack in the web there as well. Um, decisions to make on this cylinder. I think we'll probably reuse it after repairs, um, but certainly the valve's completely different and various different things are, are, are to be um, changed on it. But hopefully we'll get away with using that cylinder. That was today.